I am Dr. Madeline Stripmatter. I'm a pulmonologist at Y. Wilson Medical Center. And today I will discuss bronchiectasis. What is bronchiectasis? It's an irreversible bronchial widening leading to a dilated airway larger than the associated blood vessels, causing tortuosity of the bronchus. This can lead to mucus buildup in the lungs that can then lead to infections, which then leads to decrease in lung function. Bronchiectasis can be caused by many different things. Our approach is to separate it in big categories. Is there a genetic disorder that led to the bronchiectasis like CF or alpha-1? Is there an immunodeficiency state or an autoimmune disease? As well as does the patient have a history of recurrent pneumonias or prior lung infection? Is there a history or risk for aspiration? Why are patients getting diagnosed later in life? Well, because bronchiectasis early stages can be hard to be seen on chest x-ray. Also, not everybody has a chest CT, and there's many pulmonary disorders that present with a shortness of breath or a productive cough. So what are some symptoms to look out for? In bronchiectasis, is shortness of breath with activity or at rest. There's also a productive cough that is persistent with phlegm, mainly worse in the morning, as well as a history of recurrent respiratory infections, and you can also have weight loss or fatigue. How to treat bronchiectasis? Well, first, if there's an underlying cause to your bronchiectasis, like an infection, we would treat the infection. Then also, improving bronchial hygiene with airway clearance techniques. You want to get the mucus out one to two times a day using bronchodilator treatment prior to the treatments. Also chest physiotherapy techniques like percussion, vibration to loosen the secretion such as a flutter valve, and hypertonic saline nebulization can help. There's also controlling any chronic infection and reducing airway inflammation. We do this with antibiotics, bronchodilators, and pulmonary rehab can be very effective. These programs combine exercise, education, and support. If you're diagnosed with bronchiectasis, what can you do to improve your quality of life? It is very important that you do airway clearance. It can be a burdensome disease because it can take 15 to 30 minutes for the treatment one to two times a day. It's important that you commit to this. Also, if there's smoking, we'd recommend that you stop smoking and also taking care, uh, talking to your healthcare provider about what vaccinations are right for you. Staying physically active is very important because regular exercise improves your lung function and boosts overall health. You'll need to have regular visits with your healthcare provider to monitor your lung health. Be aware of signs and symptoms for lung infection or flares, such as an increase of shortness of breath or increase in sputum production or systemic symptoms such as fever. Disease progression varies widely from person to person. Some individuals stabilize while others may experience a decline in the lung function. I hope you have found this information on bronchiectasis valuable to you. If you have any questions or concerns, I encourage you to reach out to your primary care provider and discuss how you can work together to monitor and improve your lung health. I am Dr. Madeline Stripmatter. I am a proud provider, pulmonologist with White Wilson Medical Center.